All right, what's going on guys? It's Doha here. And in this video, we're going to be continuing our Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, we'll be showing you guys how to get the Stopgap Legendary Hyperion Shield. Now, the red text for the shield says the process is called Living. On shield break, become immune to any damage taken for five seconds. And my, I have a, I have a hypercharge as my prefix, so I get minus 25% recharge delay and a plus 15% recharge rate. Capacity 11,248, 4.3 recharge delay, and 1,114 recharge rate. Now, this shield is arguably the best shield in the game as of right now. And well, and also I have 13% resistance to uh, radiation damage. But as of right now, this is, argue, like I said, arguably one of the best shields, if not the best shield in the game. Now, as you're going to see right here, I get this shield to drop from Grave Ward. This is uh, a world drop only shield. You can get it from any lootable source. Like I said, uh, world drop only. Just uh, if you want to get this shield, I recommend going to kill easy bosses like Grave Ward. Grave Ward is one of the, if not the easiest boss to farm in this game very easy to kill him and as you see here i get the stop gap right here on this kill there it is right there and uh other than that it's it's just gonna be a it's just gonna be in competition with all of the other world drop only legendaries in order to get this shield that's the only bad thing about this shield really is that it's pretty tough to get because it doesn't have a certain place that it drops from it's world drop only now i'm going to show you guys me uh trying to get these skags here to break my shield so you guys can see that on shield break you become immune for five seconds that's the big thing about this shield that's why it's so good it's very good for mobbing it's very good in boss fights so you don't die you have that five second window where you can live as you're going to see right here after the skags break my shield you're going to see i get this little blue effect around my screen and that means that while that's on your screen, you're immune for those five seconds. And you see, I'm taking damage, but I'm not actually taking damage. They're trying to do damage to me, but I'm not taking damage. You guys also get to see my recharge rate here for the shield. Now, keep in mind that this is the recharge, the hypercharge version uh, prefix of the shield. So mine's going to be a little bit faster than possibly other prefixes that you get. And you can get different prefixes, and you can get an anointed version of this shield as well. So that's really what you want to go for for whatever character you're playing on. Try to get a good prefix. I I actually recommend a hypercharge prefix like I have. Very good to get your shield back up. So that way you can get that immunity again if it breaks. And then maybe you want to get an anointed version that goes good with your character. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one.